If you've been looking for an affordable neighborhood in Dripping Springs, then Cannon Ranch could be the perfect opportunity for you. I recently did a video about the three most affordable neighborhoods. It's Cannon Ranch, Big Sky Ranch, and Heritage. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the pros and cons of Cannon Ranch and how it compares to the other two. So Cannon Ranch is located right in the heart of Dripping Springs, just off Highway 12 and 290 near Founders Memorial Park. One of the things I love about this community is the location. You're just blocks away from restaurants and shops on Mercer Street. There's an H-E-B grocery store close by, and it's easy access to get to the highway if you need to head into Austin for work. Now, Cannon Ranch is only going to have 350 homes when it's finished, so it's going to have a much smaller, tight-knit feel compared to Big Sky Ranch and Heritage, which are larger master plan communities. Now, Cannon Ranch just opened in May of 2025, so there are plenty of opportunities to build in here. Now, one drawback of Cannon Ranch is that it does not have a big amenity center with a pool like the other two neighborhoods. There will be some park areas and trails within the community, but if you want a pool, you can easily access the public pool at Founders Memorial Park. It's just across the street from the neighborhood, and that's one of the reasons the developers didn't see the need to put an additional pool within the community. The HOA dues here are only $43 a month, and the tax rate is only 1.68%, which is an incredibly low rate. Newer construction communities generally have higher tax rates in the upper twos or closer to 3% in many cases. So 1.68 is amazing. Big Sky Ranch and Heritage have the same rates, but Heritage also has a public improvement district tax or a PID, which means Heritage is going to be more expensive overall on monthly payments. Now let's talk about the builder, Ashton Woods. I have personal experience with this builder. My husband and I bought an Ashton Woods home back in Sweetwater maybe 10 years ago. We were really happy with the overall design and quality of our home. And I can tell you when we sold it nine years later, we didn't have many repair issues. So I feel like we got a very well-built house. In this community of Cannon Ranch, Ashton Woods is offering 17 different floor plans. To give you an idea of pricing within the community, at the low end, you can get the smallest floor plan that's 1466 square feet for about $400,000. There's one right now that's listed for 402. And at the high end, you can get a 2918 square foot home that is listed for 544. And those prices are for fully completed inventory homes. That's the final price. But oftentimes you can negotiate a little bit. Now I can tell you from personal experience that you always get the best deals when you buy an existing inventory home. The builders are usually more willing to discount those prices or offer extra incentives. So right now Ashton Woods is offering a fixed rate of 3.99% with FHA financing or 4.99 for conventional loans. If you'd rather not have the discounted mortgage rate, you could also choose to get up to seven and a quarter percent that could be used as flex cash to pay for your closing costs or to go towards lowering a price. A lot of the inventory is already significantly discounted from 25,000 up to 60,000 off the original prices. So there's some incredible deals right now as the neighborhood is just starting to take off. You do have the option to pick your own lot choose your own floor plan and go to a design center to customize your features. If you build from scratch, expect it to take about six to seven months from when you sign the contract to when you get their keys. Right now you can get $20,000 off at the design center towards upgrades and you can also get 3% towards closing costs. Now incentives vary every single month, so always ask me for what the latest opportunities are and I can also help you negotiate a bit more. So I think Cannon Ranch is a great opportunity for anyone looking to get into Dripping Springs in that 400,000 range. So I think this neighborhood has a lot of great things going for it. Number one for sure is the affordability with low prices and a low tax rate. Number two, you are right in the heart of Dripping Springs. And three, because it's a smaller community, you will not be putting up with construction for years and years to come. Now I would say some of the cons are that there's no real amenity center or community pool, but you do have that public park nearby. And because it's a smaller size community, it lacks the wow factor that the bigger neighborhoods might have with some grand entrances and signs. 
Also with only one builder, the homes can appear to be more cookie cutter style. They all have a similar farmhouse look and feel. Some people like having more variety in homes, but others really like the cohesive look and feel that this neighborhood has. Now I'd love to know what you think of this community. Drop a comment or question below and check out my other related videos that I have linked in the caption.